everybody, it's your favorite auntie Mo, and we are back. <laughs> I know y'all miss me. We are back for another catfish review, y'all. Yes, this is Mike and Joey. Now, before we get into this review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think of this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and then hit that notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. Look here. I know, it's been a minute since I bought y'all a Catfish review. Y'all know Catfish is one of my favorite shows to review. I love Catfish. Need, if you out there, you still looking for a co-host, holla at your auntie. Now I got you, boo, I got you. Y'all, this episode, <laughs> the name of this episode needs to be In Search of a Sugar Daddy. Where the Zaddy's at? Where the Zaddy's at, okay? This episode was funny as hell to me. It was funny as hell. So, hopefully y'all are ready for the review because I'm ready to give it to you. So, let's get right on up into it. All right, y'all. So, we got Mike. He's 19. He is from Connecticut. Recently moved to San Diego, California. He met Joey on Grinder when he was living in Connecticut, right? Now, once they started talking, Mike says... Sparks started to fly immediately. They had so much in common. They were like the best of friends. They would flirt all the time, talk for hours and hours on the phone. They tried to video chat one time. When they video chatted, it was pitch black in the room. Now look here, boy, you 19. You a damn millennial. You know good and damn well. If the video chat don't work, but. Mike says that Jay was supposed to come and visit him in San Diego one time, but at the very last minute, he called and he canceled, right? Now, you know, before Neve goes and he meets with the people that has um, sent the letter in to him about the catfish, he Skypes with them, right? Baby, when they Skype with Mike, hmm, this is how you answer the phone. Bitch, thought you knew. Hmm. Mike says he is in need of a zaddy, okay? He wants to be either a, a regular, uh, no, what did he say? He wants to be a top of the line trophy husband or he wants to be a professional sugar baby. He is looking for a rich man to take care of him so he can drink wine and eat sushi and tan all day. And mind you, he is very citrusy. I mean, very very Fanta orange-ish, very Cheeto-y, hot Cheeto-y at that. And he doesn't like to wear a shirt, and he likes to wear some little ass shorts. I said, oh, yes, <laughs> this is my kind of boo right here. Now, Mike is kind of living with a zaddy right now as it is. He says he lives with his roommate rent-free. The roommate said that his only job was to look hot. So the roommate pays all the bills, all the rents, all the everythings. He says he goes to the beach every day and eats sushi and drinks wine and he's living his best life. I ain't even mad at you. I wish I could do that every damn day too. All the while, he's talking with Joey. Been talking to Joey for like the last like three, four months, something like that, right? Now, he says that Joey was there for him when he moved out to California, that they made this connection, and that, you know, when he was feeling down and depressed and whoop de whoop that Joey was there for him. So, he wants to meet Joey. He ready to see who Zaddy is, and hopefully Zaddy got all the money that he needs to take care of him because he's trying to eat sushi and tin and... Living his best life. Neve's co-host this episode is Jane Carey. She is the daughter of Jim Carey. If you don't know who Jim Carey is, I'm going to need your ass to go and hit Google right damn now. But their way they're doing their investigation, they start off with the phone number, right? Of course, they don't find nothing on the phone number. They do um, an internet search of another phone number to see if maybe it's an internet number. They don't find anything on the phone number, right? Now, they search the couple of pictures that Mike sends them that he has. He has a couple of facial pictures and one dick print, right? Facial pictures show up. They don't find a match on him. They do a search of the dick print. The picture ends up coming up on Pinterest as one of the most searched gray pants dick print photos. So off that, they like, um, we can rule that out. It ain't him. 
They go to his Facebook. They see that there's a girl named Desiree that commented on one of his posts about her, um, him helping her with her battery. They end up reaching out to Desiree. Desiree calls them back. Neve like, look here, um, we be having bitches out here catfishing bitches, so we gonna have to FaceTime you. End up FaceTiming Desiree. Whoop, well, there she is, right? Now she says that she was at an auto parts store, something like that. She ended up meeting Joey. Joey helped her jump her car and that they became friends from there. She asked him for his phone number. He wouldn't give her his phone number, but he gave her his Facebook, right? And so they become friends through Facebook. She said that they went to have coffee one time, and when they were having coffee, Joey was just talking so much about this guy named Mike who he knows that he's been talking to, how much he likes Mike, how Mike is really important to him, how Mike is so special to him, and how he really likes Mike, right? Now, they was, I was suspicious, too. Before they even said anything, I'm like, why is she talking so much about what he said about Mike? That don't make no difference. And lo and behold, that's what Neve and Jane both say when they hang up the phone with her. They're like, she was way too willing and readily able to give us so much information that Joey was saying about Mike. We gonna keep a good eye on that bitch because I don't trust her ass. Y'all, so they go back and they tell Mike everything that they find out about Joey. They tell him what they find out about this friend Desiree and what he was supposedly saying about him. So of course they made Mike so happy. He like, okay, yeah, he for real. He telling people about me, that's zaddy, that's zaddy. So they try to call Joey, he doesn't answer the phone. Neve is like, well we know he's in Connecticut because Desiree said that he's in Connecticut. So how about we just fly out to Connecticut, see if we can get in contact with him. Now at the same time, they're trying to call him, like I said, he doesn't answer the phone. They reach out to Desiree. They're like, since you're such good friends with Joey, how about you reach out to Joey? You let him know that we got Mike, he wants to meet him, and that we finna come there, and that we gonna talk to him. She like, I right, bet, cool, I got you. They go by, they ain't heard enough from Desiree, right? So, Neve reaches out to Desiree again, it's like, have you heard from Joey? Cause we're trying to call him, he's not answering the phone. She replies back, hmm, that's weird, I know he's in Connecticut, let me see if I can try to contact him, right? Hours and hours go by, they don't hear a damn thing. Then she finally texts back with an address and they're like, what the hell is this? She's like, it's really complicated, just come to this address and we'll talk about it. See, I knew that bitch was up to something. I knew her ass was up to, I knew her ass was up to something. Y'all, so they drive into the address and it's some old creepy, horror movie house on the lake ass long dirt road they gotta drive down trying to get to the house now meantime mike is like oh does he live in a lake house oh i guess i could settle for that oh that's great i can do that y'all this damn mike he is <laughs> let me stop i was gonna go in on him i'm not even gonna do that so they get to the house neve is knocking on the door a knock a knock a knock a knock a knock ain't nobody coming to the door Neve go around to another door. A na knocker, na na knocker, knocker. Don't nobody come to answer the damn door. So Neve is like, well, hell, we gotta go back to the crib and reconvene, think what the hell we gonna do next. Just as they leaving, they down the stairs finna get in the car. This garage door slowly, here we go again with this old dramatic ass garage door opening up. Now, one more time, this is who Mike thought he was talking to. This is Joey, who he thought he was talking to, right? Garage door slowly opens up. Baby, Mike snapped. Mike was like, ew, let me go, ew, ew, let me go. He snapped. This is who he was actually talking to. This is his ex best friend. His name is Mikey. Mikey said the reason why he wanted to do this is because he caught his boyfriend in the bed with him in the act. So he made up this fake guy, Joey, just to mess with his heart and to get back at him because that broke his heart when he caught Mike in the bed with his boyfriend, y'all. Mike Bow flipped out. Mike was like, ew, oh my god, ew, oh my god, I can't even look at you. Oh my god, ew, it's so gross. 
ew y'all he was so goddamn dramatic it was hilarious they both started going in on each other mike is telling mikey ew you're gross you're ugly you're older you'll never be me you're so disgusting ew Mikey said one thing that took me the hell out. Mikey was like, ew, whatever. You're like covered in like Cheeto dust. Whatever. <laughs> he told this motherfucker, whatever. You're like covered in like Cheeto dust. Y'all, I'm sweating. I damn near passed the hell out out when he said that baby because i swear to god he looked like he is actually coming in <laughs> so neve asked him where did you get these pictures of this guy he was like oh some random guy i found him on instagram whatever <laughs> he's like well who the hell is desiree oh it's my best friend she's in the house right now this is her house whatever <laughs> Mikey was so cold with it. He came out there face beat to capacity with his Fenty highlighter and all that ready to stun on you hoes. He came out there ready, baby. Joey out there with an itty bitty shirt on, some itty itty tinchy teen ninchy ass short pants. He looked this boy looked ridiculous. I'm sorry, but he looked crazy as hell. Covered in cheat. <laughs> That shit is so funny to me. That is so goddamn funny to me. So, y'all, they take a break. Neve goes and talks with Mikey, and Mikey does admit that what he did was wrong. He says he didn't mean for it to go as far as it did, but in a way, he sort of missed having his friend. And so, the shit just ended up going, and it kept going and going and going and going, right? So they take a break from each other. Later on, they all come back. They sit down and they talk. And Mikey is actually open to having a friendship with Mike if Mike could understand that he's so vain, he's so stuck up, he's so narcissistic. He's, he is a, a whole trip. I bet you it is draining as hell to be his friend. Just from watching him on this episode, he seems like he needs a lot of praise. He needs you to constantly tell him that he's that bitch, <laughs> even when he crying crazy <laughs> with the boy problems and all of that. Like he is a whole damn mood. He is a mood. But at the same time, Mikey don't feel like he did anything wrong. He like, uh, he was, he was sleeping with my man, okay? So he deserves it. So I could apologize to him if he could apologize to me and we could just move on. Is that how we doing it out here? For real? Like, for real, for real? Y'all, so at that point, they just agreed to disagree. So you know how Neve does a two-month checkup, right? He did the two-month checkup with them, and Mike does say that him and Mikey actually met up. They squashed it. They moved on from everything. But Mikey, when um, Neve catches up with him, he tells him, like, you know, yeah, we squashed it, but I still really don't, like... I don't trust Mike like that. He too stuck up. He's still covered in Cheeto dust. And I just can't even rock with him like that because he's still stuck up as hell. That's what it is. And at the same time, Mike said he's still out here in search of Zaddy Shark. Do, 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 that's going to take care of him. So he can be a regular, schmegular, degular sugar dad. I mean, sugar baby out here. Or a top of the line trophy husband. Y'all, if y'all did not see this episode, Mike and Joey, go see it. If for nothing else, just fast forward to the part when that fool tell him, whatever, you're like covered in like Cheeto dust. That shit is funny as hell to me. It is funny as hell to me. Funny as hell. If y'all seen this episode and I forgot anything, please drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next catfish video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.